continues, and I don't believe it can get any madder because we've nearly seen the world number one knocked out by Gibraltarian qualifier Dyson Parody, who had three match darts, three that would against have been him. A massive shot, really. Uh, uh, shock you know. doesn't even cover it. I, I don't. I'd have to find a thesaurus to adequately adequately describe what would have happened there, but it didn't. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. Michael Van Gerwen once again finds himself in trouble and wins a game of darts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a story we've heard many, many times before. But he does await the winner of this second quarter final. So MVG, hoping to defend his title, waiting in the last four for either Kim Heimbrecht, the man throwing his practice darts here, the former finalist at the Players' Championship finals back in 2012, or the World and Premier League champion, the Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson and beat this Justin semi, I think. should be. He did beat you. Yeah, I was, I was gonna. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring it up, but one Gary of your three major semi final appearances, Justin. Game on. Yeah, yeah, that was impressive. That's when I was good down. <laughs> There's no, no past tense needed in here, Justin. One hundred. Now, Kim started off sluggishly it's fair to say in this tournament because he took on Michael Rastovitz the Austrian and lost the first four legs he somehow despite not really getting going won the next six and came through it and he it was just a, a battle for him but against Benito van der Pass, he seriously improved 97 yeah. average and a 6-2 win and if Kim Hybrex carries 60. on that upward trajectory then he's got a chance here of winning his third European Tour title. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all you've got to do in these tournaments is, is build on your performance every round. And if you do that, then you're going to progress. Or hopefully, you, you should. Um, you know, Kim Kim obviously played well against um, Ben. Mm. I mean, Benito's in good form at the moment. Yeah, he really is. Every weekend, that, that kid's turning up and playing really, really well. And he, he's got a great temperament for the game. And he, he's a lovely lad with it, Ben. And... Um, Rastovitz, he, you know, he, he, he didn't have a bad tournament. He beat my granddad, Steve Beaton, <laughs> in the first round, didn't he? <laughs> well, I've got well, he's flown home now, now, so you can see him. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to come in the back of the van. Exactly. Kick off. Yeah, as Ibrex buys in a 180, it's completely in vain because Anderson yeah. takes out tops. Uh, that's exactly what Gary's reverse. thinking there, probably. I'm just going to pin this tops and uh, make you think, oh, Oh well, that's a wasted 180. Mm. <laughs> I mean, look, you, you're, you're good mates with Gary, aren't you? And, you know, 44. live not far from each other yeah. and, and practiced or just certainly did do quite a lot. And you've seen him over the last few years where we've gone from being a player of immense talent who didn't really win big things in the PDC to now being the go-to guy in the big, big tournaments. Then Gary Anderson is winning them, Premier League and, and World Championship. He's won, what, two Premier Leagues, double World Champion. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's fantastic, really, for Gary. And um, yeah, it's, it's brilliant to see it because he's a nice guy, Gary. Um, what do you put it down you know, to? I, I, I just think it's believing in his own ability, really. Mm. Um, you know, when... He, he leaves tops a lot, mm. right? But for me, Gary is absolutely lethal on 36. I used to say to him, "Why don't you leave 18s more often, Gary?" I said, "You hit it all the time, and very rare do you see it." Well, he will miss it, but not often. For me, he that's doesn't his miss best much double. anymore, does no, he? I mean, no. tops and twelves. He's, I mean, the tops and twelves. He's yeah. won two world titles on basically. Exactly, and um, you know, I used to say to him, "There's nothing wrong with your doubles. He can hit doubles all day long. Brilliant." And uh, you know, we, we're putting some serious practice sessions, and he, he wouldn't miss many doubles, not many at all. And um, and I think it's just believing that he can do it at the right time. And he's, he's a lot more focused, and his concentration's much better up there now. You can see that in him. And uh, he's, he's the com he is a complete dark player, and I think it's just Gary had to believe that in himself. And uh, you know, he's amazing, amazing talent. Yeah, he's certainly one of the greats, and I know that 57. it was a great source of personal pride for him winning that second one equal in Jockey Wilson's yeah, tally. Exactly. Fantastic. It would have been a, a shame, really. I mean, Gary's one of those players that... Um, that's, that's a good marker for Kim. You, you know, that should win a world title. And, um, it would, wouldn't have been good if he never won a world title, really. Yeah, and, you know, a man of his talent, you expected him to 
to win things and perhaps before he won his first one you expected he should have won a bit more than he had but yeah well he, he was winning an awful lot of pro tours that, that year yeah. is when it, it was in fact and, and that's one of the things i wanted to ask you it was the world championship before he lost to michael van gerwen and he was it's the one of the very few times i've seen gary angry yeah, um, at losing, losing a dark game he was angry and it was kind of the kick up the backside that he needed because immediately he went and won the first European Tour event of the year, yeah. beat some bloke called Pipe in the final, I think, in oh, Hildesheim. I should have had that as well. <laughs> so oh, it was a really poor final. Oh. I think you both played really well we to get played, to the final. We, and you were rubbish. The well, the final, <laughs> the, the final was okay until the last leg. And we, you know, I kicked in with a 180. And all I could think about was my brother. I thought, I'm going to win this for my brother. That's all I was thinking. And... Um, and when it came to double 12, yeah, it was double 12. I, I couldn't believe 59. I missed it. And I came back and missed again. And, and, and Gary was very apologetic for, for winning. But, um, yeah, that was my fault. I learned a lot that day. Wow. And, uh, to focus and concentrate on 100. what you're doing. Don't, you're not shaking hands until you've won. Well, you, it, you it did go down to a deciding leg, didn't yeah. it? And had it not been for that, I mean, who knows? Had it not been for that first win that 78. year, maybe Gary wouldn't have gone on won 10 titles that year, including the Players' Championship finals and the World Championship. I think he would have won nine. 85. Well, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I, th I think he, I think he would have gone on and done what he did. But, um, yeah, because, he, he, you know, that's Gary. If, it, if he loses this match, he just go back to his you know hotel. he does shrug it off doesn't yeah, he yeah he's brilliant for that absolutely brilliant he's got a great great mindset for the game and um, more tops there you he go right in the, in the middle way. band Gary beautiful has. start and well, hopefully he's going to leave double eight in at some stage because he, he just doesn't miss it he did hit it earlier on today I'm not sure did if he did especially <laughs> for you but I mean in fact earlier on today when he uh, saw off James Wade won it 6-2 average 104.7 yeah uh, he only hit um he only hit double top once in the final leg. Everything yeah. else he was hitting double 18, 40. double yeah. two, I think. There was there was all sorts of stuff, but everything but his favourite tops and twelves. And, and in, uh, well, I, I think he's a much better. One hundred and forty. This is shaping up now. If uh, if Kim can hold now, and then um, this could this could just 100. go all the way. It's, it's one of those games, isn't it? Well, this, I, I have to say. Kim Hybrex, I do think, is a fascinating dark player to watch. And one of the best things about him is that he has absolutely no respect for reputations. He does it. The bigger the player, it seems that Kim is, is it's much easier for him to get fired up for it. It produces the yeah, best. Yeah. And we've Thanks seen that when he obviously he got in the Premier League off the back of that run in the Grand Slam and he beat Michael Van Gogh and hit a nine data. But he really does tear into the big names he because does. He, he's, that's what gets him excited and up for it. And, and that's... He's yeah. a, he's a he proper responds. terror, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he, he, wants, he wants that. That's who he wants to play. And you know, I really felt sorry for him 100. in the Premier League because he, his running 66. average in the Premier League was about 103, 104. It was, it was better than Barney's, and he made the playoffs. Yeah. And that is a 14 dart. That's a class from his full double eight bang. Yeah, it was better than Barney's, and Barney made the playoffs. But the Incredible. general... The, the Everybody played brilliant against yeah. Kim, and I felt so sorry for him. And I'd like to have seen him in for the second year, really. I think he would have progressed even better. I really do. Um, I don't think it's done him any harm. And, and no. To be fair, you know, he, he lost in the, you know, he got a bit of a hiding in the Premier League. But later on that year, 100. he had this stunning couple of months, mm. which, you know, it kind of blew away any fears. It might, oh, he might have crushed his confidence and he won't come back from that. He had a couple of months where he just dominated as... He looks to fill this well. He goes down to 17. He's unlucky. He's unlucky. But that, in that two-month spell, he played 15 tournaments. He had three finals, three semi-finals and three quarter-finals. That is a maximum from Gary Anderson. And he kind of needed it in this leg because Kim was causing problems. Well, Gary's back on 301 then. And, uh, 60, this is what I, I always think. If you're back on 301 um, after, after six... There's always a good chance you might sneak in a 180 or 140 or 137 and leave you a shot. Mm. And it um, doesn't matter what, how high a shot it is, it's a shot. And that's mm -hmm. the most important thing. It's a good darts. 171. No, that's it. 
use 82 yeah, he's once once again. Hybrid puts Anderson. in a decent setup shot. Gary Anderson within about one and a half first. seconds has already hit the winning double in reply. And that hurts sometimes. But you, you, you mustn't let it affect you. You've just got to get on with it like this. This is a great reply. 140. Great start to the leg. Listen, it comes out, you know, first nine is uh, quite bad. Mm. Some of his big scores have come towards the mm. end of legs, haven't they? But even yeah. those overall averages aren't particularly good, certainly not for these two. However, we do have a good, close, competitive game going on. 100. And that's Need the most stratospheric averages yeah. for... I mean, look, it's great when they're hitting everything and you don't know just one mistake could cost 60. you the game. But. I believe is that a few big scores and a few missed doubles usually makes for exciting darts. It does, then, yeah. Look at that, three out of three. For 140. You know, what I was saying, his doubles, honestly, he's, he's brilliant. Brilliant at his doubles. Very calm, mm. you know, and. Uh, 40, he'll be required 120. I, I think, he, you know, he, he probably used to think about what people said and, you know, he don't need his doubles, but. Well, nobody can accuse him of that anymore because no. he's one of the best double hitters in the world he is. now. It, it, yeah. that's, the, that's the strange thing that it has gone from being Gary Anderson, that bloke who he can have problems yeah. on his double sometimes. Never any, if anything, he hits fewer 180s five. now than he used to. Yeah. But his but finishing his is so good, he wins <laughs> everything. It matter. And that's all that counts, as long as you hit those doubles. 35. No double hit for mm. Hybrex there, but he will return with three clear darts at double top to level the game up at three apiece. And after a, a 6 5 nail biter in the opening mm. quarter final, we could be on for something similar here. Double 10. Double 5. Never a nice double. How many times? How many times do you see people hit double 5 last start? It's they were tops they wire tens and then bang right in the middle of fives because you've got 85. to hit it mm. you've got no option you've got to hit it and you you're saying that to yourself it's got to go in you know but uh, fair play to kim there he held that together i suppose you do you know you probably attack double if it's no, your last start in hand you can afford to really attack it yeah. there's no worrying or oh, don't want to miss inside just in case yeah you've got to drive it home yeah. 100 uh, you've got to get it in there because even if you are aiming for the middle of the bed there's something in the back of your head going don't miss inside. Yeah. Don't, don't miss inside then. Oh, yeah, you get those little voices. Yeah, the little voices. <laughs> 100. And being inside a dart player's head is a terrifying prospect. There's it all is. sorts going on in there. Some oh, are yeah. emptier than others, Easy. but they're still terrifying prospects. That's for sure. <laughs> 100. Kim's darts are going a little bit flatter. And uh, they used to sit up a little bit. Mm. It might just be the camera angle because Gary's looking the same. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well. How many times you see Gary Robin Hood? Yeah, he, he d yeah, an awful lot. But that's just, that is just throwing exactly the same. Uh, and and that, that's good throwing. Mm. You know? Yeah, he's so good. It's exactly the same yeah. point. I mean, you used to see it with Gary quite a bit. He doesn't do it that often now. But if his first two go in the treble and he wants a 180, Sometimes he just speeds. It's not like he's even looking. It's no. just, I'll do the same thing with my arm, yeah. and it'll end up there. You don't even have to look sometimes. You, you yeah. just think, right, that's what I've done, bang. Yeah. And, yeah, and then it goes in. Now. Boom. Ooh. 63. To be. Now, Anderson, he's, he's pretty lethal at these nowadays. Oh. 11 tops. Don't, not missing much. Ooh. Now. 71. That is a missed opportunity. And this... This Two darts at a double. Kim Hybrex for a break. break. Yeah. First break of the match. If it goes in, and it Charles does, and Kim Hybrex takes a 4-3 lead, and the world champion's in a spot of bother. Kim to throw first. Game on. He wouldn't put past Gary now just to bang in a nice little leg, you know, and, and, and then come out. He, he, because he, he's so calm inside himself. And, and he just throws and, and relaxes and throws. And it's, you know, the, the best, you know, the very, very best they become the very best 100. by virtue of when you put them under pressure they produce they produce and michael van gerwen has done it countless times gary yeah. anderson somebody showed me some stats um, i'm not going to take it hazard a guess as to exactly what they are but it was about gary anderson a number of last leg deciders that he'd won and it is a phenomenal yeah. amount yeah. so to think that you know he's he's winning the vast majority of games that go to a last leg decider because where somebody's gone all that way got the but then get, yeah exactly yeah. because when it really counts that's, that's when he it finds does count, it. that one leg, and you think, right, Kamara got a kick in really big now. And it's composing yourself, 
you know, and, and believing in your ability. And, and now he's got all that. You know, he's got the belief. He's, mm. you know, in, uh, and he's been there and done. He's got the yeah. experience as well. He knows Absolutely. how to do it, and he can, he, can, he can just find that magic formula. If you asked him to explain it, he probably couldn't. No. And this is what makes Michael Van Gerwen so special for me, because he's still young. Mm. And he's got all of that already, you yeah. know. And, and uh, you stand back and watch Phil throw or Raymond throw, and, and, and they throw with maturity. Gary, you know, they, they just throw with, as they should, mm. you know. games are usually brilliant oh, oh, as well yeah, so, exactly. no, I don't think we're, we're in for a treat whatever <laughs> happens and it'll be very way. interesting to see if Kim Hybrex can convert this because he's got 218 points left Ooh, on that one. he might be letting Gary off the hook here a mm. little bit 25 for that Easy four. he needed that last last one there that's set up for 140 Ooh. That was a perfect marker, that first one. Okay. Ideal for Barry, just to slide it in there. And he's that failed to get to a finish. So six starts from 1-3-4 for Kim Hybrex. 
and that will do nicely. He will come there. back with three darts in his hand, looking at double top for a 6-4 win. Gary's putting on the pressure. It's worry him. He's doing what Kim's been doing. Yeah. And, Can and he dish it back to him? Yes. And, and uh, Gary's been taking him out. Can Kim take it out? Well, you've had to suffer Gary doing it to you three times this game already, Kim. Can he There's serve one. a bit back to the flying Scotsman? There's two. Double five. There First you go. Five. There you go. Gary, you require wow. 50. I don't mm. think Gary's going to miss. Then Kim just gesturing there. He, you know, he's... Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. People keep Gary missing darts and important five. legs in this session. I'm not sure I can take this. Double two for Kim Hype. Well, there, See, I, I don't mind that. Yeah, that's right. I, I think he's right to do that. And then this is what we were saying about Dyson and, and I, I feel he should have just stood back and thought about what he was doing. But is it going to work? Oh, no, that's desperately close. Oh, my oh, word, Gary this Anderson. Is, this is going to go all the way down. Five yeah, match darts have been missed. Gary Anderson. Then from final leg, Gary to throw first. Well, Game on. well, well, Gary Anderson. It is down to a deciding leg. And you watch the champ going now. Well, he's dodged a bullet here. Michael Van Gerwen dodged three bullets. Gary Anderson has 92. dodged even more than that. And after pointing out earlier on that Gary Anderson's record in deciding leg matches yeah. is phenomenal. And there we go, right down the last will, will he go and prove the point here? But Kim Hybrex. 140. After 10, the disappointment of missing match darts, it takes it takes yeah. some serious, serious bottle to come back and do that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you really got to collect yourself. And, and, you know, it's no good standing there kicking yourself and cussing yourself off. I've done it many times. We all do it. Mm. But Kim's, he's not done it, in, in, um, which is unusual for Kim because he, he is one of those guys who like, will cuss himself off and finds it hard to forget sometimes. Not done it here, and um, it's about channeling those frustrations yeah. and emotions, isn't it? Yeah. You can have them, but as long as you're using them productively, yes. And that's that's not easy. No, no, it's not. Oh, look at this. No, oh this my, is... look, and you look, he's shouting along with himself as he's doing it. That is probably channeling your aggression in the right way. Uh, it's a lovely shot as well, one two six. Um, if Gary, if can get, if Gary can hit the one eighty, one hundred and forty, and, and put the pressure on to go for it, the one two six would have been brilliant. Yeah, it doesn't need to because it doesn't need to go the ball route on here because Gary isn't on a finish. And he's not hit a treble, so it's not as easy as it might have been. I wonder if he was thinking maybe I should go for the one two six as if Gary's on a finish. And, and then set it up with the last start because no, I, you know, it's almost a two one situation. But here we go. Let's see if Kim can go out on 68. One dart. One dart now. And he gets oh, it to Kim Hybrex after missing Kim a series Hybrex. of chances in the penultimate leg. Breaks Gary Anderson, the world champion, in the decider and books his place in the semi finals. A shake of the hands. Hybrex, well. Big but celebration from the belt. Great game. That, that was a really good game. You know, you know, the, the, the averages may not suggest it was a, a, a massive game that way, but it, it was a great game entertainment wise. Absorbing uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, really. absolutely. Well, absolutely. look, we get another one of those Kim Hybrex Michael Van Gerwen games. Either and way, it was going to be a good one, wasn't it? It is <laughs> going to be an absolute belter. Didn't matter who was making it through, but Kim Hybrex will take on Michael Van Gerwen in the opening semi final of the. Pepper Army Gibraltar Darts Trophy. We are now turning our attention to the other half of the draw. And it is Peter Snakebite Wright, beaten finalist in the most recent European Tour event. The number two seed here and a former winner on the Euro Tour as he takes on Ian the Diamond White, number seven seed, and a man who averaged 107.33 earlier on this afternoon. We'll resume in just a few moments' time. 